Welcome. Welcome to Bagman's Corners. Diagon Alley. I feel like I'm either in Diagon Alley or one of the Star Wars Sith Lords. My face is covered up in darkness. But that's not me. Not anymore. Minions. Joker. Where is she? Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. How's everybody doing, man? Good to have y'all up in the studio, man. Um, thanks for tuning back in. If this is your first time. It's Big Man Jones, dude. Big Man Bones. BMJ, dude. You know, rocking and rolling with you live, baby. Ready to get it popping. Um, I had a great day, man. Really did. Really, really did and i've only been up on this shit for maybe two three weeks now man but hey check it out i'm posting videos every day for y'all man tell me i miss a day somebody fucking find a day that i miss huh or, or if i miss a day tell me i didn't come back and post two videos the next day huh because i'm on vacation what boy so you better check that work ethic man so um first thing woke up man just sat in bed Making myself be grateful for things, sitting up and staring out the window, not ready to get up yet. Um, just telling, you know, kind of dozing off, waking up and just, and then just saying thank you a bunch of times. Kind of dozing, waking back up and then, and then breathing. And if you guys don't have certain ways to get yourself hyped up and get yourself ready for the day, man, you ain't giving yourself a good chance, dude. You about to get out there and get bullied, dog. You about to get motherfucking jerked around, dude. Um, so get ready, man. Get yourself in that zone. Visualize how you think the day's going, dude. Make yourself a huge fucking winner. Um, but anyway, M came over this morning. Really nice. It's been a minute. We're just cuddling. We're chilling. We're watching some new girl guys. Don't sleep on it. It's a great show. Really good characters, really well written. Watched it multiple times, even though I'm really not watching TV right now. But it was nice to watch it with her. She hasn't watched it, you know. I'm getting more out of it now, watching the parts that she laughs at. It's hilarious to me. She's not a subtitle fan. I am. You know what? I made the compromise. Going no subtitles. Um, and I just really want her to enjoy it like I did, man. So... Uh, shout out to that. <clears throat> then I dropped the car off, man. You know, we had to get that tire done. And listen, man, if you if you need to go to a car place, go in the ghetto. Go go where you think nobody would go. They're cheaper. They're not trying to upsell you. They just keep it real. This place made it fucking happen quick, dude. I got my car, I mean, my tire and the oil change. It only took about an hour and a half. Only, only spent about a hundred. Um... And, you know, I told him to even, you know, check out the car, you know, because I'm doing deliveries. Tell me what else y'all might see. Let me know. And, you know, in my head, I'm trying to think positive thoughts. I really, I keep, like, doubt keeps popping in my head because we all have the fear of going to the car place, especially if you don't know shit about cars. But I'm, like, telling myself, it's going to be good. We're going to be positive. Nothing's going to be wrong. You know what? And nothing was, dude. I thought they were going <clears> to... <throat> Tell me, hey, man, you need brake pads and rotors, dog. The transmission's about out, man. Coolant and the spark plug. You know, I don't even fucking know, dude. But I thought they were about to hit me with the whole motherfucking enchilada. And he was cool, man. So <clears throat> I don't have one of those review pages. I'm not really into that game. But I just wanted to give back to them somehow. So I had M uh, kind of told her to give them a five-star review. Kind of told her a few little things to say. I know it'll just help the business. I know it'll help. The employees, the owner, everyone's just gonna feel better because they had a bunch of one stars and I've been there twice now, dude. And, and like they treated me right, didn't lie, kept it nice, kept it quick, price is reasonable. Um, so even those little things, man, bless them up with a five star review, dude. Five star frog splash RVD style, dude. I motherfucking dapped them up over the internet, man. Kind of, kind of typed them up a little hug. Man, so shout out to them. 
Tigers Plus on Singleton and Norcross. If you're around the area, man, come through. Um, went and had a great breakfast. You know, once again, I'm having a great time. And, you know, I wanted to see, hey, where do you want to go for breakfast? I asked her. We went to our favorite breakfast spot. And it was really delicious. I thought it, I thought it didn't fill me up, but it actually did. I was really happy. I got to go out on... I, I have my favorite bench. Y'all already know about that. Now I found my favorite swing and my favorite chair. Soaking up the sun, guys. Just I could feel the vitamins and the energy just sinking into my skin. While I'm meditating, while I'm scripting, I'm out there, I'm sweating a little bit, but I'm just... I'm taking it in. I'm just looking at the scene. They got some nice music playing over there, dude. Kind of some punk rock a little bit. It's early. There's not too many people out. Um, and it was just a great time. Then we walked right over to the library. You know, she's picking up a book. Guys, check this one out. It's Perfume. Um, one of Kurt Cobain's favorite books. Beautifully written. I mean, just... One of the most beautiful books you'll ever see written. Just the way they use imagery, sensory words, really paint a picture in your head. Um, it's a really good book. I'll give you a quick just little plot. It's basically a kid that he was born without a scent. But his smell is like on the next, next, next level. And he starts working at a perfume shop, making the best perfumes. It's called Perfume. And then he starts getting obsessed with smells. He's kind of a weird kid. There's, there's a lot of twists and turns, man. Great story. Great story. Another good song for you that we listened to on the way over there. By Dirt. Country song. I guess it's really popular right now. I just heard it for the first time the other day, man. It's a vibe. It's really catchy. It just talks about kind of, kind of the simple, important things in life, man. Throwing money in the plate at church. Uh, buying dirt to build a home, put a fence around the people you love, you know, you know, um, find the girl you love and marry her, dude. Don't even waste time. If you know, lock her down dude, before she's gone. Um, and I was just thinking, too, with like how nice the weather is going into winter. It's like, man, people in the north would kill for this right now. So I'm so thankful that we still got warm sunshine days, a little breeze. We get to really see the full the full feel of fall. Um, we really get like four distinct seasons. Some places get like, you know, hot, cold. Really hot, really cold, you know. Um, so I felt really good about that, man. Still, I haven't found a place to donate. Guys, let me know with charity. Let me know somewhere I can fucking volunteer. I'm about to just start taking cash out of the ATM and fucking throwing it at people, dude. Because, listen, this guy at LA Fitness couple maybe a year ago just comes up to me i'm in the hot tub after my workout he's like hey man can i talk to you about god real quick and i was like yeah man and he did man he was saying some really good things really good vibe on him i was just listening he was just spitting i wasn't even trying to interrupt i was just taking it all in and he told me it's important he told me that money is cursed he said he had no money he started giving back tithes, giving back to the church, don't, you know, giving back money. And that's when more money started coming in. You have to give it away. To, you, you have to give more to receive more, guys. It's it, it, it really makes sense when you start thinking about it. So I don't care if you don't think you have much, dude. If it's $10 the first couple of months that you that you donate someplace, feel good about it. Next month, maybe it's 20 Guess what? Now you're making more money. Now now it's like, where'd this money come from? And he, I mean, dude, he said, you know, by the end of a couple of years, he, he was donating probably 50 times what he started with and making way more. So I thought that was really cool. That guy ended up being my friend. I would go over there and talk to him a bunch. He had good vibe. I think he was, I think his buddy was a pastor at another church and I just love seeing him, man. And it's brave to just, just pull a kid over and be like, hey, you want to talk about God? And God didn't hold back, man. I really I really respect him for that. And I really appreciate him him kind of blessing me up with that knowledge. I'm passing it along to y'all. I hope you guys pass it along to somebody. 
And you know, that's just how things get spread, dude. And we gotta we gotta look out for each other, man. Um also one of the one of the things we did, we get to the you know, the library. What do, I'm sorry, I dropped the phone. What do I do? I, I go over to the magazines. I pick it out. National Geographic, Atlanta Home Magazine. And I start visualizing. I get him over, you know, um, I pull up, you know, a, a, a huge kitchen or like a mansion and say, hey, you know, we're in it. Look at us in this. What are you doing? And they say, listen, guys, when you visualize, Picture yourself like, don't just picture like, oh, there's a car it's sitting in the driveway. Look at that nice car. I have that nice car. I'm driving that nice car. Like, dude, you have to picture your hand on that wheel, the smell, you you riding around in it. What are you doing? In it? Or like a house even better. It's like move around more. Like go, like pretend like you're walking to the kitchen. You open up the kitchen. You open up the freezer, boom, there's your fruits and vegetables. You're feeling good. You pour yourself a glass of orange juice. Now you're looking out at your perfect view. Wow, that's your garden right there. Oh, man, there's your pool. Okay, now you're grabbing a towel. You're going out there. You're about to tan at the pool. What's that you hear? Oh, those are your tunes blasted on the radio. I mean, on the speaker. And you got some nice lights on the pool. Now, M, she's calling me. And guess what? She just made cookies. Okay, now we're sitting on the, now we're sitting on our huge couch. You know, and we're watching a yoga video, getting ready to do yoga. Um, next thing you know, guess what? The kids are home. Kids come running in, dude. They're dirty. They're playing. Um, and then, you know, she's working on her book. I'm reading over here. Guess what? It's getting time for bed. You know, we, we know we got a trip tomorrow. Like, make it one thing after another. And, like, that was just really quickly. But, like, do them slowly. Feel them. See them. Believe them. How would you feel? You're feeling great. You're happy. You're smiling. You're laughing. You're right where you're supposed to be. Um, you know, this is your dream home. This is your dream life. You created it. Um, it's that. It's that simple, guys. You, and, and just and then you just do it every day. You keep it in mind. You keep it close. You're grateful for what you have, but you know you you know good things are coming to you. You keep thinking those good thoughts. You know, you put in some action. I don't know, guys. Tell me it ain't going to work, man. Because I promise you it will. I really promise you it will. You have to fully, fully believe and be of that frequency. And anything can happen, man. I, um, okay, I read, I read in a book today. You know, because, like, that, that sometimes me and then we, we, we kind of butt heads over this because she's, She's so science oriented and I do like science and, you know, medicine, you know, to a certain extent. But I, I also think our mind, and our body and what we perceive and what can happen can produce miracles, dude, that are that are unexplainable, that, that science doesn't know. I mean, we all know the placebo effect. I mean, we've all heard miracle stories that make no sense. Um, and so this lady, she had cancer, right? And... You know what she did? She didn't believe it. She just kept telling herself she was getting healed. I'm getting healed. I'm healthy. I'm healing. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Just, just thought after thought after thought after thought after thought. Positive. Believe them. You know. And then she took stress out of her life. I think a lot of these diseases and illnesses and, and body aches and pains and mental problems like their stress and their low frequency and you're not in the right place mentally and she did all that and then she also watched a ton of funny movies and they really say laughter is the best medicine guys and i believe it man i love laughing i love making people laugh i love when people make me laugh i love thinking of funny jokes and just that laugh that you can't stop laughing sometimes or the one that you know you're trying to hide but you can't um, and it always just kind of pulls through funny movies. She basically said she like laughed out her disease. When you're just laughing, it's like one of the highest feelings you can be in. It's like pure ecstasy, joy, um, just right in the moment, happiness. Um, you're kind of grateful for it. It's like everything kind of mixed into one. That's why I love comedians so much. That's why, you know, 
I always try to make people laugh when they're down. I love laughing. You know, you guys know I like to joke because we've been, I haven't been joking too much. <clears throat> kind of my throat hurts right now. My voice isn't, isn't that strong right now. But um, also another thing I got to do, I just practiced. I got a really good rap line for y'all coming up at the end here too, though. So stay tuned. I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. You know, guys, um, get back to my routine tomorrow. And everything, man. But still had a great day. I got to read in my car a lot. That was just amazing. Um, kind of took a little nap. Just woke up. Still feeling great. Took a little walk around, dude. Um, went in the bookstore. Um, went trying to shop for M's birthday gift. You know, just, just wanting to thank for other people. You know, when you're in a good spot, dude, you can do so much more for other people. You really can. You know, she checked up on me a couple of days, a couple of times today. How's your day going? I'm like, man, it's going awesome. I hope your day's going well. Like, I'm, like, I haven't thought like that in a while. Like, wow, I really hope someone else's day is really going well, just like mine. Like that would, like, when I hear that her day's going well, it makes my day even better. Um, then I had a little exercise I did when I'm driving past people. I'd look at them in the car and just like feel like acceptance. And compassion for them. I'd kind of make up a story for them. And I would just feel like, hey, I'm glad you're here. Hey, you belong. Hey, you're doing things that are appreciated. You know, I would just, I would, I would look at them and I would feel all that emotion. And I would try to send it over to them. And I really think the whole, oh, sending good vibes, sending prayers. Dude, I think that is something. I think, I think, I think thoughts and energy and all this stuff is way more powerful than we know meditating i think just being positive seeing the best um loving somebody just feeling it just feeling it build up how strong that can be i really feel like it put me in a way better mood and i feel like them over there i feel like they felt it in a way i don't know i just maybe i'm believing too much but it's nice to have something to believe in um got to talk to my brother guys you know, I, you guys know I love talking to my brother. He's probably my favorite person to talk to. Younger brother, man, we've always had each other. My mom used to say, you guys are always going to have each other. Um, and we're just getting closer, man. We talked for three hours on the phone. We're both doing delivery orders. We got the same job. It's awesome. We, we discussed it. You know, he's talking about his music career. By the way, guys, literally check him out. out Adam and the mo Molecules, A-T-O-M like an atom in the molecules. He has probably one of the best songs you'll ever hear that you haven't heard yet. It's called Dance Epidemic. Check it out on Spotify. I'm not kidding. It's a fucking vibe. Um, love that song. Love playing it. Puts me in such a good mood. I'm so proud of him. He's so talented. Um, very creative. So I love talking to him. He'll tell me about his music. Um, he's probably one of the only people I talk to that's like constantly looking for new knowledge every time i talk to him he's got something new he, he's quoting somebody he's saying i just saw this the other day you know or i was thinking about this and i feel like we we just match each other with thought for thought and we hear what the other person says we think about it we take it in we respond we agree um for the most part we sometimes disagree it's always productive it's just always good vibes you know i'll give him advice he'll give me advice um I, I just love listening to him talk. I think he's really smart. Um, super cool brother to have. Really good dude. Um, just love talking to him, man. I'm trying to think of what else we talked about. You know, music, interviews, celebrities, success. Like, um, you know, our past, our mom and dad, where we came up, where we're heading, we're on the right track. Like, it, was, it just felt like a productive, good phone call, man. So I love seeing his name pop up. Um, it's been one of my goals to get closer with my family, and I think it's finally happening. Because you, as you get older, you do get more wisdom, and you learn how important some of this stuff is, man. You really do. Um, I wish I had more to tell y'all, man. Just, just know there's a few things I'm forgetting, but I had a great amazing day man full of love full of gratitude full of positive thoughts um just felt healthy just felt 
look, I just had good energy, man, and I keep that all day. Just joy, um, just eager for the next thing. There's always so much to do. I, I'm about to go read again right now. Reading an amazing book. Um, checked out at the library, uh, the Gratitude Diaries, dude. The, like, you start seeing more and more people, successful people, they know this. If you're successful and you're good vibes, you're somebody that people want to be around, things are going to work out. You're giving more and then and then you're receiving more. Things are going to work out. Like, there's a few certain laws that I recommend everybody practice. Um, so the gratitude's awesome. It can save relationships, man. It, it can um, get you creative. It can get you out of depression. Um by just by just starting to love the life you have, man, and I, I really do right now. So I wish I would have learned this about this earlier. So I'm trying to put y'all on, but listen, this is the former Bagman Jones rap line, um, kind of savage, like usual, man. When I rapped, I tried to play it hardcore, dude. So here it goes. I hope y'all are a rapper. This is your chance to cop some bag lines, get the career started, probably take off like a rocket. Like I maybe could have. Um, no hand to hand. It's handguns when I handle bars. Back when I couldn't see in my candle dark. Taking some risk. I'm a gamble shark. Right when the sample starts. I got the ammo when the example starts. All of the fans got the phantom hearts. Car shopping in random parks. Cancel your cards. Cancel your cards. Um, so no hand to hand is handguns when I handle bars. I just got that heat, boy. I'll be I'll be busting. I'll be fucking blasting. Um, back when I couldn't see in my candle dark, the candle was out, dude. Dude was wandering, man. I I'm not kidding. For a while, I really had the vision that like I was either trapped in Hoback's basement and couldn't get out, or I was in a, just a dark room. I didn't have the key, and I just was, like, beating on the walls, or just, or maybe in a corner, kind of head down, giving up, um, there just wasn't much hope, it felt like, and, and I had to do some real soul searching, man, you, you just won't get to where you want to go until you get your mind right. You just really won't, man. So if, if your mind's not right, try, try to focus, figure out what your problem is and and how to write that, man. Um, taking some risks, I'm a gamble shark. That speaks for yourself. Uh, right when the sample starts, I got the ammo when the example starts. Yeah, all the fans got the phantom hearts, dude. I like that one because fans, sometimes they'll jump ship, man. If, if you say one thing they don't agree with or, or you know, they always want more and more out of you and... um. You know, when when people start watching this channel and finding out about it and hopefully sending it to people and hopefully people are getting good messages out of it and it's helping people. I hope this is really a place that people can go and just say uh, positive, uplifting, wholesome comments, man. Like, like I, I, I just, right now, I, I, I can't be a, a around negative energy. I won't. People being negative, people doubting or fear or stressed or angry i just don't give a fuck about it i just get the as far fucking away from it as i can man that shit's contagious as fuck <laughs> that shit is contagious as fuck dude run from that shit man you got to get your spot you got to get your place you got you got to know how to how to power up supercharge man and, and and just go and just roll with it, man. Keep that keep that energy all day. Um, car shopping in random parks. Cancel your cards, boy. I'm coming for those wallets, man. <laughs> coming for those wallets. I'm about the motherfucking credit cards and the scanners. You know what I mean, man? That real designer shit. Um, so listen, man. Tomorrow's going to be a great day, you know? I made the most out of today with getting a real late start working. You know, you you know, in the past I would have been pissed about having to go to the fucking car shop, do this bullshit. Why is this happening to me? This isn't fair. Um, it costs so much money. I'm gonna be fucking broke, dude. I'm you know fuck this, man. I'm gonna go get drunk. I'm not even gonna work, man. My life sucks, dude. 
you know, I'm never gonna have anybody in my corner, man. Bad things just happened to me, man. Why? I'd have been a little bitch about it, dude. But not, nah, man. Instead, I gave them that five-star review, and I, I just made the most out of my day. Late start, all right. I'm going to still make my money. I'm going to still, you know, enjoy my free time. I'm going to still get to talk to people that I love. I'm going to still get to walk around the, the bookstore. I'm going to still get to read. How y'all going to stop me, man? That's the thing I'm starting to realize, dude. Y'all y'all can't. Y'all y'all cannot stop me from having a good day, dude, unless you straight up kill somebody in my family. Um. Uh, other than that, boy, we on the up and up, man. So get on the men with me, man. You know what I mean? Get them stitches in or um, do a little rehab, baby. And we're going to be bouncing back, dude. I hope to see you tomorrow in the prayer group, baby. Um, I hope I see you out there, man, in that sunshine, dude. And we looking at each other in the cars, sending acceptance fives each other's way, man. So I'm going to keep an eye out, man. This bad man, Jones. You know we signing out. Thanks for coming by, man. We are all rich. We all are going to get everything we want. If we believe it, if we think about it, we have the right thoughts, we're grateful, we're going to get rich, we're going to be fucking healthy, we're going to change the world, we're going to make people happy, man. Shit, dude. It's a fucking video game, guys. It's a fucking video game. We are playing, it's the Sims fucking game, dude. If you can think it, if you can write it on a paper, if you can make a drawing of it, dude, you can have it, man. It's the fucking truth. So, I used to think, man, what's the point of wanting a nice house or a nice car? I'm never going to get that shit, man. Fuck that, man. If y'all want that, man, y'all trying too hard. Why the fuck y'all trying so hard, man? Come be broke over here with me, man. Come, let's not give a fuck, dude. Let's just hang out and joke around all day and not try it, nothing. Yeah, dude, what the fuck are you doing, man? Starting a family, bro. Pfft. Caring about your work. Pfft. That's lame as hell, man. I wouldn't even try, dude. So, like, I get it, man. I get giving up. Feeling like all hope's lost, but find it again, man. What do you want? What's going to make your life happy and better? How can you give back? Damn, man, I be looking good sometimes, man. Holy shit. Holy shit, I'm an animal, man. Somebody signed me up for a modeling contract, dude. Somebody motherfucking get me on a, um, on maybe an acting. Let me act somewhere. Hit me with some questions, man. Hit me back, man. Uh, I'm waiting for y'all to show that love, man. And I'm gonna show it right back, so. We out of here, man. I kind of stalled the last couple of minutes. I don't even know what I was saying. I was rambling on, dude. Uh, the, note, the, the notes didn't even really get used this time, man. Next time I'll make better notes. Also, uh, if you guys like golf, get out there, man. It's the most peaceful sport, bro. It's a secret.